I remain Honorable Ladin Kajai, and I represent the people of Odoote, Ifelodu, and Borikwe local governments. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I am from the state of Osho. Mr. Speaker, permit me to commend the mover of this uh, motion. Uh, it's a very simple uh, motion, as it were, but a really significant motion. At a time when we're talking about encouraging investments in various productive sectors of the economy, it's uh, an auspicious time to talk about costs of doing business in our country. This is just another example of those charges or levies and taxes that discourage businesses or increases the cost of doing business, which in turn naturally gets translated, um, transferred to consumers across the board. Mr. Speaker, you note that the banking sector remains in the last 10 years one of the best investments that anyone can make in terms of the returns on investment. If you look at the ROI of the banking sector compared with other sectors, you see that the returns on investment is so high, and I believe one of the reasons why these banks are able to declare such high profit uh, for their shareholders is because of charges like this, which necessarily ought not to be passed on to their consumers. If business, if banks continue to charge VAT on your savings, they charge you um, commission on turnover, they charge you tax on the commission on turnover, these are already three charges that banks levy on bankers, I mean on uh, their banking uh, customers. These charges, some of them have been found by the Central Bank of Nigeria to be illegal charges. And you find that a lot of consultants are making so much money auditing accounts of customers and claiming back so much money for their uh, clients just because banks engage in charging so many unnecessary and illegal charges. This is just one of those charges, uh, Mr. Speaker, my dear colleagues, and I urge us all to support this motion to put a cap on this sort of charges that necessarily does not add any value because the banks already have a collateralized uh, security system where their lending is already collateralized. They have an asset in place to protect their exposure to the customer and their, again, levying uh, an insurance charge on customers, again, just to increase their profitability, regardless of the fact that it increases the cost of doing business, which then is transferred on to consumers at the end of the day. So on this uh, basis, Mr. Speaker, my dear colleagues, I commend this motion, and I say that we should wholeheartedly support this motion and let it uh, pass as uh, the prayers of this motion pass our test. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, my dear colleagues.